Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Collective Worship. It's lovely to be back with you. I hope you're enjoying the snow. More about that in a minute. Let's open our time together. May the peace of God be with you all and also with you. So it's been snowing and I hope you have not been as unkind as one of my children was to his sister. This morning he woke her up quite early by throwing a snowball at her head while she was in bed. It caused a bit of a, well, there was a bit of a conflict, shall we say. She was not very impressed and uh, he thought it was incredibly funny, but it was a very unkind thing to do. We're going to be thinking about being kind and unkind a little bit more as we go through. We're coming to a season in the year just before Easter called Lent, and we often start Lent by making pancakes, and we eat up um, all the things in the house, the sugar and the sweet things in the house, and perhaps go without them for a bit. So I've got my pancake pan ready and a lemon, because I like some lemon and sugar on mine, and the idea is that we eat all those things up. So I got thinking about the things that we eat and um, also about things that we, we maybe do differently because eating pancakes is a bit of a different thing to do. We don't, uh, maybe you have lots of pancakes, but traditionally we, we eat them at Lent on Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day. I don't know what you normally eat for breakfast. My son is very, very predictable. He gets this enormous bowl and then he absolutely fills it to the top with cereal. That's what he's on at the moment, I think. And then he floods it with milk and he eats this enormous bowl of cereal right up over the top. It's like, a, like um, an iceberg over the top, um, poking out of, of its milk. And he eats loads and loads of cereal. And I was going through our recycling to put it out and I just thought, we've got far less cardboard in our recycling than normal. And also far fewer of those big plastic milk containers. Thought, What's going on? And why have we got no bread? I went to get some bread for my breakfast, hardly any left. So I had a word with him and I said, what's going on? Where's all the empty cereal boxes? Why have we got loads of milk left? What's going on? And he said, oh, I've given up milk. And I said, oh, why is that? And he said, um, he said, I've read on the internet that skin, that, that, that milk isn't very good for your skin. And he said, my skin's gone a bit funny. I don't, I'm, I've, I've, I'm eating less dairy. He said, I've been stealing my sister's posh milk. She, she tries this when she finds it on special offer because it's expensive. So he said, I've been having a bit less cereal and eating more, uh, more bread and more toast. I said, oh, right, you needed to tell us because like, we've done all the shopping and we're going to run out of bread and we've now got loads of milk and, and it's all a bit different. And he said, oh, yeah, OK, I've just I've just chosen to, to be a bit different in my diet, still eating healthily, just eating a bit different. So he's made a choice to do something different for himself, just for his own reasons. He just felt that that's what he wanted to do. And I thought, oh, I wonder with Lent coming up, whether there's anything that I could do differently. And I haven't really finished making up my mind. But rather than giving up stuff like sugar or chocolate or, or whatever it is that I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do, I wondered whether I should do something different, do something differently, to be kind, uh, to be helpful. Um, you know, we're all in the house a lot more. It's getting a lot more messy and untidy more quickly. And I thought maybe I could help my wife out. And it's not her job to tidy the house. Maybe I should be doing my pulling my, my weight a bit more, doing more things to be kind and helpful around the house. So I'm thinking about that and wondering what I could do. And, and I'm wondering whether there are things that you could do um, as we start Lent or just because you want to, um, to be extra kind. I wonder, I wonder whether you could do a bit of tidying up for your mum and dad or whoever you live with. Whether the things on your bedroom floor you could pick up without being asked to. Whether you could tidy away your toys at the end of the day without your mum or whoever it is saying, oh, come on, kids, we need to pack it all away now. It's so messy. 
maybe there are things that you could do around the house to help. Um, I don't know what you're like in the kitchen at tidying up or emptying the bins or taking your, your, your dog or your, your pet uh, for a walk or, or feeding them. All sorts of things. Maybe you could discuss in your class. What are the things that you could do that would be kind for somebody else? What kindness could you think of doing around your house or for whoever's in your bubble with you? I, I wonder if you can come up with a really good list. I'd be interested to hear what things you can think of that would be kind for other people. Now, the point is, it's easy to come up with a list. It's harder work, perhaps, to actually do them. So thinking kind things is a start, but it's the action, the doing, that's really more important. Maybe you could be generous towards something. I don't know. Maybe you can think of a charity that you could give a little bit of your pocket money or your savings to. That would be a kind thing to do as well, wasn't it? Someone who's got more need of that money than you. Just give a little bit. Don't have to give a lot. Every little bit makes a difference. I think there's a charity. Is it Red Nose Day coming up? There's a thought, you know. Maybe you normally give a pound. Maybe you could just give a little bit extra this week, this time, this time round. Who knows? There's something to think about. How can we be kind? Can we take something up? extra instead of giving something up for Lent. So something to think about. Let's close our time together um, as we invite God to show us where we can take something up that would be helpful and good to the people around us. May God grant the world justice, truth and peace and make our school a place of happiness and peace. Amen. Have, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I uh, hope you have a really good week. Have a really good week off in half term, especially some of you teachers and other staff. I think you need a week off too. You've done really well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again later on towards the end of February. Bye, everybody.